Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky 2.62 Desolation. Uh, today is Weekend Community Event Season 2. Event 8? Maybe? I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, let's just do it. <laughs> Doing the community event today, nothing else planned for today. Uh, although I do have some stuff coming up. Uh, I think we're going to have to talk to him, maybe. Mercury. Go find Mercury. I don't know where he's hiding. It's over there. <laughs> he's over there, protecting the teleporter. There he is. <laughs> hey. Calamity has befallen us, portal adept. A thousand Corvex souls have been severed from the Convergence. What again? The result of a fellow traveler's ambition exceeding their grasp. Oh, Hesperus, what have you done? Hesperus was working with the Corvex to try to simulate the abyss itself. It came for them instead. If Hesperus returns to us, do you believe we can still trust them? They have much to answer for. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do what I'm doing. This pains me, portal adept, though I fear you may be correct. SMH. Oh, good grief. Come on, Hello Games. Just hit the enter key when you're supposed to. All right, let's go. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Easy for most of us to say. We're not game programmers. <laughs> Oh, why did I go out this door? The car's on the other side of the garage. <laughs> Woo! By the way, we're doing this on Exploring Calypso, but I think we're still in Euclid. Because uh, I had to come here for something. Oh, yeah. To use a portal in Euclid to go to a specific derelict freighter. Those uh, derelict freighters are the same class freighter in every galaxy in that position, but um, I wanted the one that was easy. So I came to Euclid, because it only had a few rooms. <laughs> More general laziness. Alrighty. Right straight down to the Portacullis. Clouds. Oh. oh, it's so dark here. Oh. Yeah, really, really dark here. Land. And it's also a extreme... Uh, there we go. It's also an extreme weather planet. I just saw storm crystals. Must try to not get distracted. Alright. Turn on my flashlight. There we go. Uh, we need... Some. Oh, what's that? Oh, salvage containers, too. Yes, yes. Uh, and stones of knowledge. There's one right there. Probably should just give in right now and uh, <laughs> drop the nomad. Woo! Up, out, oh, out. <laughs> yeah. That was a tree, George. <laughs> Hello? Stone of Knowledge is shifting between two positions. It's hard to touch it because it's moving so much. It gives me one third of a portal address. Dun, dun, dun. Oh dear. Alright. I can actually see the portal with the scanner, though. It's weird. That's weird. You usually can't see that, but if you see that. Oh, now I've moved. There's like a square. Ah, you can't see it now. It was trippy, though. There's like a little square shape. There's a building. There. 
<laughs> I'm kind of kind of going south now. Oh, that's an interesting looking building. Ouch. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be goof goofing off so much since I have no idea what we need. Oh, it's a shelter. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Um, way up there is a tall mountain. There goes my, uh, heat protection. I've gotten so used to playing super chill permadeath that when I saw that over 7,000 phosphorus on me, I was like, wow. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> All right, I can see that mountain now. There's nothing there. Oh, hello. Usually what happens is, if I don't go look for a monolith, um, I do all of this running around and then I get back to the portal and I find out that there's, you know, at least one there. Alrighty. Ah, there we go. Let's check out the rest of this area. Okay. <laughs> like you got something in your pants there, buddy. What's going on? Why is it so hard to run? <laughs> Ooh, nanites. Alrighty. This one uh, seems to be anticipating what I'm thinking. It gives me one-third of a portal glyph. Portal address. <laughs> Hello. I would like some nanites, please. Um, yep, thanks. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. There's a storm coming. <laughs> That's an X Men joke. <laughs> looking. <laughs> Here we go. Right chair. It's right there. I wasn't quite high enough off of the ground to see it. This portal makes my head swim with a feeling of deja vu. Like I might have done this before. I don't know when it could have been. Recently. Maybe as much as eight days ago. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm in such a goofy mood. I've had no sleep. I've had one sip of coffee. Very thirsty. Am I going to make it over that hole too? Oh, here's another knowledge stone. I always find them after I don't need them anymore. I'll take that word though. The geck word for work. <laughs> I don't work for a living, I play for a living. <laughs> I keep promising myself that I'm going to get serious about this thing. <laughs> I don't manage it. It's a very goofy game. Good lord, look at how far we have to go. <laughs> Let's jump off this tall rock right here. That'll get us farther. <laughs> Made it around the tree that time, but look, it's like it's glowing. Uh oh. Ouch. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, here we go. 
No idea what I'm going to need. I don't have very many things on me either way. <laughs> I might have some things in my nutrient processor. <laughs> And whoosh! I need more coffee. <laughs> Good lord. Here we go. Ooh! all black and white here and not stormy who's corpus that is very very trippy looking uh where are we going over there 18 minutes which isn't very far but since there's an ocean between us and them, us and that their place, here we go. This is awesome looking. It is in the water on the edge. Oh, okay. It's one of those things. It's a plaque. I've learned to wait this few seconds so that I don't get stuck in my ship. It's easy when you're on a landing pad uh, or, you know, on a beacon. Your engines will actually shut down. And that's a good amount of time to wait, you know. Uh, but when you're just landing on the ground like this, you have to actually, like, count out a few seconds. And, uh, ooh, what a pretty place through the visor. <laughs> Let's find out what we need. Uh, the corruption welcomes me, c claiming that it has met me time and time again. I hear it's static in my mind now. It demands gifts. It claims to have given me so many. Uh, close your eyes. What does that give? Exactly what we need. Unfortunately, uh, fish will not give you this. So, um, you're gonna have to kill animals or not do the mission. Are we there yet? Oh, boy. I don't like it when, uh, Hello Games makes us kill creatures, but these guys are good to kill because they overpopulate the planets. Take some hexaberry while I'm here. How are we doing? Halfway, which is good. I most assuredly do not enjoy this. <sighs> this is also not what you're likely to get from predators. Uh, however, uh, if you feel bad about killing prey animals, then certainly try the predators. If we find one, I'll kill one and see what it gives. And meanwhile, there's some wheat. So, 90 meat chunks, that's that's a lot of killing. <laughs> and I know that I'm going to get comments about not wanting to do this mission. I understand. Pixels on the screen. Uh, let's see here. Seeing things now. That looks so cool through the visor. 
<laughs> blue are well, blue green skies, blue water, purple plants. Nope. Oh, we also have red things. Black and white and red all over. Lots of jokes when I was a kid that comes to that one. <laughs> Uh, so the fish won't give you this. Uh, they are, are only going to give you fishy type things. Fish fingers. And uh, birds won't give you this either. They only give you birdie type things. Pretty sure I don't have any in the nutrient processor. I don't usually save meat. Because I usually have so little of it. That's scaly meat. That came from a predator. So, yeah. Now I understand why Hello Games had to fix the so-called problem with the animals. <laughs> uh, they haven't made that patch public yet. Oh, it's a rock. It's a rock just glued to the side of that. <laughs> just jog back along the beach. Music is trippy. The mission is going to have to come with a warning. Darn it. <laughs> I'm laughing out of nervousness. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's cool. It's a little cave. A refreshing little dip in the water there. All right, back to the spawn point. Unfortunately, you can't really do any of, well, except for one little trick for getting animals to spawn. You can leave the atmosphere and come back. Uh, but the stuff that I normally do, reload, you know, things like that, sort of can't do those things. Water has sparkly things in it. Need some animals. That's a terrible pause right in the middle. Something that should only take a couple of minutes. I'm just going to make the ground render by landing somewhere else. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Thanks, Destiny. <laughs> Took damage and did not refuse to land. Had a horse like that once. <laughs> they're using the Barker network to save their friends. If you don't know what the Barker network is, 
You need to see the, uh, the cartoon version of the movie 101 Dalmatians. When the puppies are stolen. <laughs> I don't know the actual name of that. And I hate to say any trivia because last night I was so tired that, um... Was it Stuart or Jimmy that answered the trivia? Now I can't even remember that because I was so stupid tired. I actually didn't understand what they were talking about. <laughs> it's up to alright I got. But the uh, answer to the trivia is what causes a purple flame. Just a couple of things. Mostly it's just uh, potassium salt. Uh, which can also be found in driftwood. So if you've ever uh, gone uh, out to the beach camping and used driftwood, then you will have seen that purplish, bluish, mostly purplish flames. Might as well go get that pulpy root, if that's what that is. Yep. I'm not finding any more animals. So, hmm. Oh, what's that? A twenty nine. Alrighty. away. This is taking too long. Let's go find another place. Oh, there's another place. What is that? Uh-oh. That looks like an anomalous planet. What about... Oh, nope. That's a hot one. That's an airless. So let's go there. Looks like somebody else used this method. Definitely want to go to the sunny side. We're in a green star system. That's interesting. carrying so much junk. Look at all these bullets from doing <laughs> 5,000 bullets from doing derelicts and I've like burned so many bullets just throw them away threw them away um, uh, mostly just threw them away. I think I've fired maybe a thousand bullets doing the derelicts that I needed to do uh, we need to be on the ground here, not the side of a mountain. Uh, doing the derelicts that I needed to do uh, in order to get the cargo bulkheads. I haven't gotten very much farther than that on this save. There we go. Alright. Close your eyes. Warning you. Uh, see, here's a predator, and probably he'll give me a liver. Ah, uh, yeah, that ain't gonna work. See, it's that specific specific thing that Hello Games wants us to get meaty chunks. That is what is causing this problem. Great. Uh, and ten more.
Here goes my shield. Oh gosh, two more, really? I can't believe that sentinel calmed down. I gave him no reason to calm down. <laughs> Two more. One more poor little creature. This place is like literally sandy. Look at this ground. There we go. Alright. Let's go back. That's really sad. Not nearly as sad as killing bounties. <laughs> Nobody else is going to apologize to you for that. I'm the only one. <laughs> you watch. <laughs> you watch Van Vangelis 2019's uh, mission later on today. <laughs> he will be presenting it to you apology free. <laughs> I just know Matt. <laughs> Poor little creepers. <laughs> it's beaver population control day. Wow, look at the calm balls all of a sudden. Isn't that weird? night time or what early morning no nope, it's night time that's pretty cool let's get this done <laughs> it's taken much much longer than it should have I hear it's static in my mind now it demands gifts it claims to have given me so many the anomaly ceases. I think back to Mercury's doubts, to the failures of Hesperus. My fellow travelers are doing their best. We must help each other, I know. And with the thought, another slithers down my spine. It's not my own. It's a voice within me. That was weird. I must help it. Hmm. What, by offering it beaver meat? seems odd. Odd choice, Hello Games, given the last time that you asked us to kill creatures and the response you got from that. From many, many people. <laughs> I will have to put a warning <laughs> That's one way. <laughs> Here we go. Whoosh. <laughs> Back home to get paid. I'm going to be uh, working over the next couple of weeks to uh, redo uh, some of my um, more helpful uh, videos. 
Uh, first up is going to be uh, finding and using portals. The original video for that has 19 minutes of silliness at the beginning. <laughs> won't be any of that. I'm not saying there won't be any silliness. I'm just saying it won't be at the beginning. <laughs> oh, my tanks are almost empty. Up, up, and away. In my beautiful, timeless destiny. Alrighty. Oops. Hello. <laughs> Whoops. I almost crashed. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna have to see how the engines turn down. I'm gonna have to like call this episode creature killing. Sadness. <laughs> The Desolation of Creatures. <laughs> Completo. All right, there we go. Another 1,200. Uh, we now have 6,800 Quicksilvers and a whole bunch of missions, which we might try to do some on Sunday. I want to thank you all so much for coming along on the weekend community event. We will see you tomorrow with something. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs>